All right, what do you say we open up this box and take a look at everything they've included for building the eight by eight by eight LED cube. Let us start with the components here in this nice little baggie. All right, first up we have a USB to, looks like maybe a 2.5 millimeter barrel jack. And in here we have all sorts of goodies. The first of which is the microcontroller or microprocessor in this case. This is the STC 12C5A60S2, which is a flavor of the 80C51 microprocessor. They've given us some Chinesium quality wire. Uh, these round pin headers, which you'll see what they're for in a couple minutes. Lots of those. Some resistors with no values. Oh, this is going to be exciting because this, as you can see, came with no instructions. Here we have the mount for that STC microprocessor with a pin pre-bent for our displeasure. Uh, I'll worry about that later. Then we have lots and lots of these smaller ICs, which I believe are 75HC 595s. Seven five HC no. This is a seven five HC five seven three A N. Oh Jesus, this is gonna be a nightmare. We've got nine spots. For these ICs. No freaking idea whatsoever which ones go where. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight resistors on this side, two more resistors on this side. Let me look at a couple more of these ICs. No, great coogly moogly this. Yeah, this is another 74HC573N. Well, 74HC573N. Maybe. If these, oh my God, if these are all the same, we'll be all right. Let's see, this is, yep, same oh, same oh, same oh, same oh, okay. So maybe we'll be all right. As long as these are all the same. Yeah. All right, those are all the same. So the only thing we're really going to have trouble figuring out so far are which resistors go where. We've got one, 
electrolytic capacitor, 10 microfarad, 25 volt. A couple of ceramics <laughs> with no distinguishable markings on them. Oh, wait, we have two electrolytics. Let's see what this one is. Same old, same old. One three millimeter LED. 12 megahertz crystal barrel jack switch. All right. Let's take a better look at the board here. Zoom in a little bit. And we'll start up here. So we have S2, S3, C1, R2, R1, LED. Then we have some jumpers here, P31, P30, ground VCC, C4 capacitor, which is twice the size of C1 capacitor. All right. Okay, so this is the IC side of the board. This is the this is the up-facing side where the LEDs will sprout from and the ICs will be on the bottom. So we have C2 and C3 which are I'm guessing those would be the two ceramic capacitors. We have an array of resistors over here. Resistors 3 through 10. And those. So. Huh. Take a look at this. They didn't bother to put plating on some of the pins. I wonder if that means that, you know, these pins are not used or what. Interesting. Okay, I'm going to solder on these parts right, and we're back. back. And I've gone as far as I'm going to go with this today. You can see we have soldered in the barrel jack, the pushy clicky, both of the electrolytics, the LED, the resistors, which I figured out there's only two values. And then on the flip side, we have soldered in all of the sockets. The remaining resistors, a resistor array here, the ceramic caps, and the 12 megahertz crystal. Now those astute among you will notice that we've got a little lifty lifty going on here. I'm not even going to bother to fix it. It's all going to be hidden behind these. A multitude of three millimeter diffused blue LEDs. 512 LEDs in this project. That's 1,024 solder joints. Not today, my friends. Not today. But if you like this, please give me a thumbs up, share it, comment, and if you haven't subscribed yet, shame. That's all I can say.